Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time for Magic with Steve and my lovely assistant, Higginsworth. What are you doing? Get the cape off. That's mine. You told me to get a cape. I told you to get it for me. It's from the magic class. What am I supposed to wear? I don't care. Get your sister. You should have figured that out ahead of time. Get out of here. I mean, come back. I need you. It's magic. I'm Steve Spangler, and I'm all about making science fun. For the last 20 years, I've been teaching ways to turn ordinary science experiments into unforgettable learning experiences. I have an amazing team who will do whatever it takes to affect the way people think about science. And to do that, I live by one motto. Make it big, do it right, give it class. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time for Magic with Steve and my lovely assistant, Higginsworth. What were you, gosh, you're supposed to come in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, watch this. We're doing magic. So in order to do this magic, wait, I should move it over this way, is we're gonna need a lovely assistant, Higginsworth. So what we need you to do, Higginsworth, is to get up on this table and lay down flat. Just Why? do it. Just don't ask, just get on the table. Good, okay, lay down. Okay, good, okay, move down a little bit. Nice that you wore your nice jeans today. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, we're now doing the death-defying action of the water trick. It's somewhat death-defying, but it's not actually that much. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick up the water like this, and, okay, hold on a second. It's, Hang on, Higginsworth, you're fine. My back's okay. getting wet. Don't worry. Okay, now watch, you're just gonna pick up the water. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so I, my, all I'm trying to do is just pick up the water. Okay, if you use your hand. This is so good, watch this. Higgs, this is gonna be so awesome, watch. Dun, da, da, da. It's defying gravity. Da, da, that was awesome. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Come on. Shut up. It's, they didn't cover that in the whole magic class. I had to leave early. Get out of here. Works most of the time. Part of that didn't work because Higginsworth got me the cheap cape, not the good cape, like I asked for. I'm going to teach you how to make water float in the air. And, and it's easier than you might think. You need some common materials. It's actually the mysterious water suspension. Let me show you a classic magic trick. This is written up hundreds and hundreds of years ago. It's the mysterious water suspension. We're gonna use a bottle with a narrow mouth. You can use something else if you want to, but you might wanna try with this first. Normally, if you put your hand on top of the bottle, turn it upside down like this and let go, the water comes out with no problem at all. Here's what we're gonna to try to do, is to restrict that opening, and of course you're gonna see the secret now, but uh, we'll try to hide it here in just a minute. Literally, it's as simple as going to the produce section and buying some uh, tomatoes. So honestly, just make a trip to the, uh, the store. You're going to look in the produce section. Of course, you have to buy whatever it is. You just can't like take this stuff here. This may uh, be a little bit too narrow and this may be a little bit too coarse. All you can do is kind of practice with it. What I found is this yellow material seems to work fairly well if I double it up. So here's what we're going to do. The secret is surface tension. So we're going to take this netting material and we're going to put it over the bottle here like this. So there still is an opening here but now we're gonna seal it off with a rubber band. Got it? All right, if we turn it upside down now, the water will come out. Here, watch this. See how the water will come out? All right, what we need to do is we need to form a seal over the top. So this is where you put your hand on the top like this, turn the whole thing upside down, and now pull away, and watch this. You lose a little bit of water, but literally the water is hanging there. It is hanging there because of surface tension, right? There's adhesion and there's cohesion. Adhesion is where mo water molecules hook onto the surface of the, uh, the container, maybe the netting material. Cohesion is hydrogen bonding. It's where water molecules hook onto other water molecules. It's precariously perched there. You can ugh, shake it out just a little tiny bit. And if air gets inside, it will come out as well. But there's something that you can do that's very cool with a toothpick. Check this out, just a toothpick. You can actually take a toothpick, go in between the netting material without losing the water and let go, and it floats to the top. So you're kind of doing a little water surgery here as you're poking it up in there, 
And again, the water molecules literally are just sealing themselves back around and the surface tension is holding it in place. People are amazed. Okay, they're not really amazed because they can see the netting material, but they would be amazed if you could hide the netting material. Gives me an idea. All right, so check this out. Jar, no screen this time, and some water. Now hold on, some water. Oops. Jar, water, watch this. Water goes into the jar like this. Now, you use the card. It goes here, you turn the whole thing upside down. This is gonna be good. And the card stays there. It's like magic. And the reason I know how to do this is because it says do not remove this card. So if you don't remove the card, the water will stay there. But if you remove the card, the water will fall. So you always keep the card here like this, and you turn it over, ta-da! It's magic. Well, the first thing you need to know is this. Magicians are liars. When they say there's no screen, there's a screen, right? Because that's the reason they said there's no screen. And in this particular case, oh, this is great. Here is this tiny circular piece of screen. This circular little piece of screen is absolutely perfect. Now, where do you get a piece of screen like this? Well, you could go to the hardware store, but you're gonna have to buy a big roll. So that's why I suggest you just find some place in your house where the bugs don't come through and you just cut it out here like this. Or you do this at grandma's house. It's not gonna fly. Just go to the hardware store and get some screen. It's well worth it. You're gonna make a lot for your friends. All right, screen goes here like this. I'm gonna put the lid over the top and screw it down like this. So this gives us the template. Now when I take this off here, I can cut around the edges and get this piece here that we need. This hides now in the lid. The whole thing goes on top. And the last little secret you need to know is this. Just say that there's no screen. Now if you go like this, uh, there's no screen and you point to it, well that's, that's dumb. So just kind of hold here like this and say, uh, so an empty jar and some water. See, that works. Higginsworth, this is a cool variation. Watch this bigger jar, turn the whole thing upside down. All right, so now the water stays there. There's still a screen here. Take a look at this. See the screen that's there? Yeah. I just kind of glued it in place. But what most people don't know is that air pressure will change this. So watch, if I have you inhale and hold your breath, uh, it'll actually change the air pressure and the water will come out. Watch, okay. breathe in. Breathe out. That's awesome. See, you did a good job. <laughs> cool. You changed yeah. the air pressure. Here, breathe in again. Oh, that was awesome. See, and when he breathes in, and I go breathe, and see how that cool, it's just like magic. I can just do this, and I can do this. You don't need, it doesn't even have to do anything with the breathing. So you just go start and stop. So you see how that kind of goes? It's just kind of like start, stop, start, stop, and that's pretty much how it works. So now you can do your own magic at home by just having a little kind of hole in the jar here and a little water that's here like this, and you can amaze your friends. Don't you think so, Higgins? Higginsworth? So you want more information? All right, there is a hole in the jar, and if you just hold it here like this, this would not be amazing. So you have to cover your finger, or I use my thumb, over the hole, got it? So if you turn the whole thing upside down, the jar is just like the one that you had before. When you pull your hand away, surface tension now holds the water in place. However, if you take your thumb off the hole, air comes in here and water comes out here. It's a matter of me taking my thumb off, air comes in here, water comes out here. Now you can completely control the flow of the water. Tricky magicians. Well, years ago, I was speaking at a science teacher's convention, so I created this little demonstration to be able to do for science teachers. There's two empty bottles that you see here that go down into these cylinders, and a bottle that I have over here that is filled with water, all right? So the water goes down into this cylinder here. So you've seen the three shell came, you know, where you, you put the pea in the shell, or maybe the three card monte, same kind of thing. You are supposed to figure out where the water goes, all right? If you're watching very closely, got it? Left, middle, or right? 
I know that's what you thought. No, not over here on this side. See, the water's not over here. Another guess, no, no, no. This one, not over here as well. See, it started in the middle. It's always in the middle. So as long as you remember that the water's in the middle, it'll be absolutely perfect, all right? Keep your eye on the water. It's in the middle. All right, here we go here, and here we go here, and uh, here we go here. Got it? You'll never guess. Where do you think it is? No, not over here. See, it's not over here. No, it's not gonna be over here either. See, I told you that it's always sitting here in the very middle. Take a look at this. The water, of course, is in the middle. A lot of people say that I'm cheating because the water is actually over here as well, and the water's over here as well. If you watch very closely, however, the water is not here in the middle. It's not over here. And if you look very carefully, why is there so much water dripping? It's not over there either. Magic. Well, the bottle Monty truly is one of my favorite demonstrations of all time. Uh, and I took advantage of the fact that there were bottles that looked something like this years ago. And you could actually hide the screen in the very bottom here. So let me show you what this looks like. This is the bottle, but this is the screen on the end of the bottle. Got it? And these little covers that you see here can come off. So now that you can see that each of them have water inside. And so it's really a matter of just putting them down here like this. And because there's a hole in the very top of the bottle, see the hole right there? Because there's a very hole, a hole in the top of the bottle. When you push it down here like this, air comes out, the water comes in. So at any given time, of course, they're always filled, right? So these two are empty just because now I'm not putting my thumb on the hole. And then I push them back down here like this. And this one in the very center is full. Ta da So now, whichever one and however we move it around or whatever we do here, whichever one they pick, of course, you can always make that one empty. And you can always make this one full. And that's called Three Bottle Monty. I think it's cool. All right, I'm already anticipating your comments on YouTube, and that is, so where do you get these bottles? And you can't get these bottles anymore. So if you really want to go to the effort of making this, try this guy right here. This is just a tennis can. So the tennis can, I've put the little um, screen in the very bottom and glued it this way. And I put a hole that you can kind of see right there. So the hole is here. Watch what happens when we push it down. When you push it down, of course, the bottle fills with no problem at all. And now you just put your finger over the hole like this to hold the water in place, got it? And if we want the water not to be there, you simply pull it out like this, and that looks like it's completely empty. So you can do the same thing again, just using the tennis cans as a theme. I think it's pretty clever. I think that was a good episode. Yeah, you're absolutely. a good sport. Yeah, all right, so the right. one thing that I didn't show you, here, watch this, is if you take the mason jar like this, yep. so when you put the screen on it and then you put the do not remove card, it's funny to do this. So you turn it over like this, and you put it on your head. Here, so stay there. See how you do it like this? Okay, you're fine. Got it? Chin up. All okay, right. so now watch this. Then you go to the audience. Here, you hold, it, hold on to it with your hand. Okay, hold on with your other hand as well. Hold on to the jar. Okay, now hold the jar tight. Now okay. you pull the card out. Okay, pull the Only card out. because I've seen this one, I'll trust you. Okay, so pull it out. Good, and now show everybody here. Say, do not remove the card, and then slowly lift up, and the water will stay there. Do not remove the card. Really, Steve? Forgot the screen. <laughs>